so I bought a Chromebook for the family from a well-known online retailer for a very reasonable price, only £160. So I thought it might be interesting to see how long it takes from unboxing to spinning a model around on screen in Onshape. I've never used a Chromebook before, so it's a good test to see if they're as easy to use as they say they are. I'm not endorsing this brand or this model, this is simply just a test. You should of course make your own mind up when making purchasing decisions. Okay, well, the outer packaging is not very inspiring, so let's take a look inside. When I was choosing this model from HP, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on what is essentially a web browser with a keyboard attached to it, so I'm not expecting too much. Okay, plain packaging on the inside. So this model has a 14 inch screen. They also do an 11 inch screen for £10 cheaper, but they're both, and they're both not full HD, having a screen resolution of 1366 by 768. The other main difference is that the 11 inch uses an Intel Celeron processor. Can't get in this. And the 14 inch uses an Nvidia Tegra processor, which is supposed to be better with graphics. So we shall see. Okay, let's pull this baby out. Okay, so we've got, uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, environmental notices, okay. Setup instructions, don't need those. Let's see what else we've got. Power cord, yes we need that. Okay, anything else? Oh yes, of course, the transformer. Okay, let's carry on. So let's just open these things up. And get this thing plugged in. Okay. Usual packaging. Okay, let's get this plugged in. Alright, so far so good. Okay, let's take a look at this. Some uh, usual police diary. Okay, well I have to say it looks quite nice. Obviously it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's got uh, HDMI and USB 3, uh, micro SD on there. Another couple of USBs on the side, and there's the power point. So let's plug that in. And let's just plug in a mouse. Okay, that's good, we've got power there. Wow, look at that. Okay, so just opened it up and it's already on. Okay, so I've read on the web that Chromebooks may download and install updates when you first switch them on. If that happens, I may pause the video. After all, nobody likes to sit there watching software install, right? Okay, so it's asking me for uh, English, UK, select a network. I removed the password off my wireless just to make this a little bit easier. And let's accept that. Okay, so it's saying it's updating automatically. So I have the freshest version. Okay, that was uh, easy enough. That's Browser's Guest. He's asking me to sign in there with my Google account. Okay, here we go, browsing as a guest. Let's go cadonshape.com. Looking good so far. Put in my username and password, which I changed just to make it easier to type in. Just retrieving my documents. So it's looking good so far. And let's open the last model I opened, which was the supercharger.
Okay. You know, that's really not bad at all, considering uh, the lack of power in this thing. You know, the screen looks a little bit grainy because of the uh, the resolution. But, you know, there's on shape on a £160 Chromebook. Very impressive. And it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a fortune to get very powerful 3D CAD. Thanks for watching.